in reality, what this really is is a PC. This last year they represented 10% of the worldwide market. Our projection is that smartphones will represent 60% of the U.S. market by 2012. To be honest, the PC actually grew for, for one very big reason. It had a standard. Its key standard was hardware, IBM PC, then a standard around, around software, Windows. I'm not saying it was good or bad. I'm just saying that's what happened, right? And then because you had standards, it allowed for the software developing community to come in and jump in, and that's where the growth took place. So, in this, and, and Sue mentioned it too, when you get to now get to this, this, this handheld space, in a sense it's kind of the wild, wild west. But the reality is, and this is why we're, I'm intrigued with it as an opportunity, if you're looking at a market for PCs, we have basically flattened out in between 275 and 300 million annually, period. And that could decline, could go up a little depending on how you define it, but you know, the PC market from the standpoint of real growth opportunity is pretty maxed. You go to the smartphone category, we're in its earliest stages, 10% today, we're saying 60% in the US by 2012. <coughs> but bottom line is, we could be moving into the smartphone space where we're going to 300, 400, 500 million units per year compared to the PC industry that's flat and not moving anywhere else. But that goes to the question that I want Steve to address, is that if you actually look at that, clearly we don't have one single OS. And in fact, when I drill down and say, here are the options, I actually come up with six. I say there's Apple, there's uh, uh, Windows Mobile, there's Blackberry, there's Symbian, Nokia slash Symbian, there's Android, and then there's this new Palm Pre that at least look like potentials. Now, some of the big questions are, uh, <clears throat> you know, who, who, who's, if I'm a software vendor, who do I back? Uh, what will the growth curves be for some of that? And Steve, you've written a little bit about that in your college and business speak. But give me your perspective is in the context of that next war. That's a huge challenge. I mean, Apple thought, at least I think they thought, because they claimed they thought, it's hard to tell what they really think, when they first brought out the iPhone, that they didn't need applications on the iPhone, that everything was going to be done in the browser, and that um, device-based applications were history. They were wrong. In fact, they were spectacularly wrong. Um, it turned out what made the iPhone work is device-specific applications. That is the real distinguishing factor, much more than the hardware, of the iPhone. This is very rich application space. And I think anybody who really looks at this market now understands that you need applications. It's not, you know, even if it's even if the data is all in the clouds. Uh, it still works much better if you have a real app on the device than if you're doing everything in a generic browser. So we have way too many operating systems. And it's not at all clear who's going to prevail in this space. Apple, Apple has a huge head start, um, both because um, they got there first and also because they got there with very good tools. It was very easy to develop iPhone apps. I am hearing from developers very good things about Android and in a very preliminary way about WebOS, which is the new Palm uh, OS for the pre, uh, that both uh, provide very good platforms for rapid application development. Uh, Android has, of course, been hobbled by the lack of hardware. Uh, the only phone out there today is uh, the uh, HTC uh, G1 which is, frankly, terrible. Uh, best you can say about it is it's mediocre. Uh, I, I don't even think it really rises to mediocre. Uh, but there are a whole bunch of Android phones coming along, uh, which promise to provide Android with much better uh, hardware. The pre, we'll see, uh, it demos great, but they won't let anyone touch it. And I get very concerned about demos where they won't let anyone touch it because it means that there are a whole lot of features that don't work because they know as soon as they let you touch it, you'll be trying the ones they didn't demo. Um, <coughs> and whether they're really going to make their first half ship date, we'll see. I, don't, I just don't know. Uh, I'm kind of fascinated by that next space up 
um, the, that mid category where nothing has happened yet. There are a lot of devices out there that have gotten a little bit of traction in Europe, a little bit in Asia, none in the US. Um, Some verticals. A little bit, but very little. And I think the real problem there is the hardware is pretty interesting. The software stinks. Uh, the, the software that these things mostly run on is this strange butchered version of Windows XP uh, called Origami. Uh, and it's awful, the ultra mobile PC software, because it has this kind of very thin um, UI layer. And as soon as you break through this very thin UI layer, you're back in good old Windows XP, which does not work on a 5 inch screen. It mean, just doesn't. It doesn't really work on a 7 inch screen. I will argue it barely works on a 10 inch screen. You really need 12 or more. Uh, to get any form of, of Windows other than Windows Mobile to work. And Windows Mobile has its own problems, it's really limited. Um, the hardware in this space gets a lot more interesting next year uh, when Intel introduces its uh, Morristown family uh, system on a chip processors. A lot more processing power, uh, integrated, much better graphics, very low power consumption. It's a very interesting chip. Uh, should be in production sometime in 2010. In fact, they're probably going to be doing um, engineering samples by the end of this year. Um, and it, it could change the game for hardware in this class. The problem is, is anyone going to step up to the plate uh, and do decent software for it? I have very little reason to believe that that's someone like Microsoft. Uh, I just see nothing coming out of Microsoft. Uh, to suggest that they're going to make a real effort in this space. They're going to try to run Windows 7 on these devices. And it's going to work as well as XP, or better or worse. 